Well, I'm back again. I'm working on this child's chair. I think I mentioned that last week. And uh, I'm trying to get things finished up here, taking the clamps off. Got the, the side pieces, whatever you would call them, finished. Then I've got the backrest finished and ready to be doweled into the into the side uprights. And then what do I have to do next? Uh, oh, I have to put the, the cross pieces in here. There's one here under the seat, one back here under the seat or actually behind the seat. Then down here I'll have just one stretcher that goes through to the other side, right in the middle. That way there's room for their feet here. The thing that I've done, I've tapered, the, tapered these legs down, as you can see, so that they look a lot more slim and trim. And then we still have the strength of the uprights. I've also tapered the back a little bit. We go from two inches down here up to uh, inch and three quarters, I think it is, up here. That gives you kind of an overview of what we're doing with this chair so far. I discovered quite by accident the other day that it's a good idea to take a big old rubber eraser like this and get rid of all of the pencil marks before you start sanding. That way it uh, pretty much eliminates all of the pencil uh, that is on, the, on your project and then you don't have to sand so deeply. Especially with me, I'm kind of a, I have a heavy hand, I guess you would call it, and I press down pretty hard on my pencil when I'm marking things. So I've got to get rid of the marks that I put on here where I lined up my, my dowels, where this is doweled together, and all of my indicator marks, I'm going to uh, erase them first, and then we'll sand them down, and... Uh, we're well on our way. And I kind of wanted to show you this. I'm pretty happy that it turned out that way. Everything's almost a perfect match between the two, the two uh, side assemblies, as you can see. Put them together and they match nicely. Over to drill press, I mounted a quarter inch drill bit um, here in the in the chuck and I've got a piece of scrap here that is the same thickness as what the side rails are on the on the chair so what I'll do is set my drill point so that it doesn't quite go through the, the piece of wood and then I'll test it here see how this turned out the idea is that you don't want the point of the drill to go through the, the other side of the wood. So I've got my quarter inch hole drilled in my test piece. Now we'll go ahead and drill all of the holes in the chair. This is kind of a cool little trick I'm going to show you. Um, you see that I've got my holes marked out and drilled here on one half of the, of the side frame. And I need to get an exact match for the other side. So here's how I'm going to do it. We're looking at the top end of one of the back side rails. And what I'm going to do is put some of these little center points right in the hole that I've drilled in, the, in this upright here. And then, after I've got that done, I'm going to 
with all four center points put in the holes that I've drilled, I'll just take my other side, match everything up so it's nice and square, just lay it right on, side, on top of it like that, just let it rest there, and then once I've got it where I like the way it's laying and everything is pretty well square, and you got to make sure the bottoms of the legs are equal. Now, you simply take a rubber mallet, strike it there, strike it there, and voila, we have the spot to drill our holes for the other side. Well, let's, what was that noise? Let's uh, assemble the back onto the to the uprights here. And this is the first side. And there it is. Now we'll put the other side on. Turn it around where you can look at it while I clumsily try to put it together. There's our first look at the chair sort of assembled. I'm going to have to do just a little bit of fine tuning on the legs here because uh, something didn't come out quite right. How do you like the looks of it so far? Not bad, huh? Well, I put the thing together. Everything fit. It's just a dry fit right now. Now that I've got the chair dry fitted, I think there's too many joints to uh, glue all at once, so my plan is to just glue everything to this one side. And uh, these stretchers here and the back, and then I'll use this other side just dry so that it can all hold everything in place while the glue on this side dries out. Session. So, we'll get going on that. First thing I want to do then, of course, is to tear it down, which is no big deal. Get my rubber mallet out here, start tearing away. It's going to be a pretty solid chair, it feels like. You don't need to watch me glue up. We'll just uh, turn the camera off and start splashing some glue around. Well, I'm going to put it to bed tonight. I've got enough clamps on there, don't you think? I took a nice flat piece of, uh, of particle board <coughs> and uh, clamped everything down nice and square. So, tomorrow is going to be the big unveiling. At least we'll take the clamps off. Let's get the clamps off of this thing so we can get the other half glued. Everything staying in place. Sixteen dollars to, to glue into place. One thing that's worth mentioning is that now is the time to really be careful uh, and make sure that all of your glue squeeze out is taken care of. And I found that a little putty knife 
such as this, a little bit flexible and sharp corners on it. Just lay it over a piece of an old uh, terry towel and then you can go right into the corner and wipe it completely out of the corner. That gets rid of that real well. Then find another clean spot on the towel and then go both ways, cleaning up as you go. Make sure you can't see a thing. Um, I've heard that some people use paper towel for doing this. Uh, this seems to be my best method. I have my, my cloth totally squeezed dry and, and then after I use it to clean up one or two of the squeeze outs, then I go and rinse it out and get it real clean again and, and then dry it out real well and that way it doesn't seem to soak into the wood nearly like it would if you just use uh, a dry towel on it. Well, there you go. The nice thing about this chair is that the legs, the stretchers, the upright uh, uh, styles for the back, the rails, and the slats here in the back are all two inches wide. And then, of course, they're tapered to give them a little more pleasing appearance. This is glued up uh, pallet wood off of the top of a pallet. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, there is one, two, three, four, five pieces that I've glued up here to make the, the seat portion of the, of the chair. This, is, uh, this chair is totally uh, complete, I believe. So now we'll see, <clears throat> my daughter is going to paint it, and then it goes to my youngest great-granddaughter. Here we are at What's Up Wayne channel on YouTube, and we're going to sign off for one more week, and God willing, we'll see you next week. Bye for now. <clears throat>